Hi, this is a minute of overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now this week I want to give you like a, a case study of Korean Heroes, one of our new apps and how we're going to market it. Okay, so those of you who follow me on Snapchat know that we do a lot of client work with Overpass. You know, we get a lot of uh, people call up, they want apps done, and, and, and we do those for them. And a lot of times it takes a lot of our time. So we, you know, for the first part of this year, we weren't really producing a lot of our own apps. I mean, we've done loads in the past, and then we kind of took this hiatus where we just took on loads of client work. And I, you know, I started to feel like a bit like a fraud because I make these videos, but we haven't put anything out. So, uh, so, so over the last few months, we've you know, basically been pushing back client work and working on our own apps, right? And your own apps are, are far better than, than client apps. Your own apps bring in money regardless of whether or not you work, whereas client apps obviously, you know, hopefully bring in money for your clients, but, uh, but not for you. So it's, it's nicer to have that, that um, with passive income. However, we, we just released a lot in, in the last few months, so uh, I wanted to show you one that we just released uh, about a week ago so that we can go through, so I can show you like what we've done to optimize it in the beginning and then how we're going to optimize it going forward. Okay, so this app here, if you have a look at my screen, is called Korean Heroes. Uh, it's a Korean language game uh, for learning vocabulary, uh, Korean vocabulary. Now we have another one called uh, Chinese Heroes, which we released, so we've take, taken that and and done the Korean version, so we've, you know, Sandy, the designer, has done a, a new, uh, some new graphics. She's come up with a whole new heroes, a whole new storyline. Uh, we've hired a new voice actor to read all the Korean words. Uh, and you can see here, here's the app here. Um, and we, you know, it hasn't done too well. We've got one review, right? And uh, just to go over some of the, th uh, just quickly over the, some of the things we did to optimize it so far. Uh, here you can see the game here, if you look at the screenshot and the title together, you can see that the screenshot is, uh, the title screen here is called Korean Heroes. Uh, but the, uh, but here up here is called Korean Heroes Vocabulary Game. Now this bit here has been added, you know, this is not part of the game, this has been added because we have 30 characters and we try to put as many keywords in there as we can because we want to help people find it and know what it is. Korean heroes may not sound like a language learning game, so we'll put different things in there. And I, so right now I'm trying vocabulary, so I want, if somebody does learn Korean vocabulary, I want this to come up a little bit towards the top. If they say a, a learning Korean game, I want that to do well. In a few weeks I might change this. I might say, you know, let's try language learning or Korean uh, language heroes or something like that. So, so, you know, it's a little bit, you know, flexible there, but you, know, you, you have a certain amount of room there, so you might as well use it. Down here, you can see these screenshots. Uh, the screenshots here, we, we don't have a video for this one, but yeah, it's just because I haven't created one yet. But you can see we got this screenshot here, which is an actual screenshot from the app. And then we got these other ones, which are screenshots from the app. But uh, Sandy, our designer, has put the, this, uh, this you know, text over it so people can see what the game does just by looking at it. Now, you, you people look at your screenshots more than they're going to read your description. Now, this description is important, especially in Google Play, because that's what you know when the, that's what gets searched and everything like that for keywords. Uh, but uh, when, when they come through and look at it and make that decision, the screenshots are going to be very important. And this is the kind of thing that you could change uh, going forward. Now, if I go into my Google Play console here, you see we've got you know uh, well hundreds of apps. Uh, but if I go down here to the bottom of the first page. Here you can see Korean Heroes, uh, and you can see when I talked about changing the title to add some keywords into it, we have the free version and the paid version. The free version is uh, a Korean Heroes vocabulary game. The paid version is a Korean Heroes ad free version. So I'm using different keywords in that title. And again, because you have, if you have a free version and a paid version, you should probably you know, play around with keywords in, in the different stuff and check, play, play around with different descriptions to see how they get found. So you can see here it's only had 10, 10 downloads, so it's not really doing that well. That's why I picked this as an example this week. So if I go in here and if I show you this, just to show you, uh, if I go to daily download installs by device, you can see we've had one, uh, basically one download each day for a free game. It's not a lot of ad revenue there, then three, and then one day we had four, and then yes, you know, the last day we've had none. So not, not very, very well. but. But I can't be disheartened by that because if I go here and look at user acquisition, you see that we've only had, tw you know, the first week here we've only had 20 people actually view the page. 
and if I look at this next page here, we've had 18 people view it and only seven or, and seven installs. So, you know, this 18 is, that's the problem. The problem is not that the app is bad. The problem is that people are not finding the app. So this is what we have to go forward and change. Now, if I go through here and if, just to give you an example of a comparison, the reason I'm not too concerned about this, if I go sh and show you this other Korean game here, Korean vocabulary flash quiz. Again, it's, the game is called Korean flash quiz. But, I, but, you know, changing different stuff, keywords, you know, change the Korean vocabulary flash quiz using all 30 of those characters there. Uh, and you can see here, it does pretty well. Let me show daily uh, installs by device. And you can see it's, you know, three or 400 each day. The last day we've had was only 120. So it's a little bit of a drop there, but, you know, it's, it's up there. It's in a, above 100 each day, which is actually, you know, pretty good. It's not nearly as good as it should be but it's getting there. Now, if I show you um, over the lifetime of the app, I mean, this app was released over a year ago. Let's go all time. Now, <laughs> this is the one that really gets me is, you can see like for the first, you know, what nearly a year, I mean, we had single digit daily download numbers on Google Play. So, and then finally we started to get a little bit of momentum. We started to get some more reviews more reviews meant more people, more views, more views. Uh, it comes up in the search more often, and we start getting that, and it's starting to grow, and it's starting to grow organically, uh, you know, and uh, and that's you know that's the way things work. I mean, if I go back here to uh, to Korean heroes, you know those small download numbers, and and I know this from from uh, well from firsthand experience, and you might as well. This is the this is the point where you start going. Oh no, it's not working, right? But we, but we all know on an intellectual level that people aren't just going to find your app just as soon as you put it on the app store. So, you know, what it means is I have to market a little bit, right? People are just not finding it, and we have various ways of doing that. We're going to play around with some Facebook ads. We'll, we'll do um, we do uh, some videos. Like I said, I don't have a video for that one here, but I do have videos running as ads uh, for some of our other games. So you can see here, you know, very low, you know, one uh, one p per view kind of thing. I just go through and say. You know, squeeze it in where you can, target specific keywords and stuff like that. So it really is something that, you know, we need to do. If I look at, um, now the successful one, Korean Flash Quiz, if I go through here and I show you an App Annie here, uh, go into App Annie, do a search on the app, and I show you that, uh, go to the ASO section. Here you can show, uh, you can search and you can also see what kind of keywords that you're ranking for. So this one is going up a bit. If I show you Korean here, you can see, you know, for a while it was just, how do we show all time here? It said last 90 days. Well, here, well, it's taking so long to load. But here you can see that it's actually, it is going up in the rankings for those keywords. So it's trying to play around with things to get things to be found. Also thinking about off the page, you know, are people going to be watching a YouTube video and download something yet? Uh, about it, I want if somebody's watching a YouTube video about learning Korean, I kind of want my app to my ad to show up there, not just something that's just out there blanket. So, and if I but if I show you uh, and just to compare it with with Apple, right? Apple, this is the same app released around the same time, actually a few days later because it took longer to approve. Uh, and if I show you the um, you know this this one now in on Apple, you have a lot more room in the title. So here, the same app here we call it Korean Heroes learn Korean words while you save Korea. That's the free version. The paid version is, is completely different keywords, right? So we're, we want people to find it. If they're searching for it and they find the paid version, it, we, this is the reason why we put free version there and we put pay, uh, full version. If they see full version and they like the look of the app, then they'll know, in, and they found it via some other search, key, search term. Uh, if, the, if it says full version, then they'll know to look for the free version, right? So. If I show you the downloads here, this one's actually not doing too bad on Apple. I mean, it's not great, but it's like, uh, so we're getting, you know, 25 downloads a day, whatever, you know, 30. So, so it's, Apple does a little bit better on this one uh, in terms of ranking. But again, in the long term, we have to look at, you know, the long stretch. This is why the reason why we release so many is because, you know, yeah. There's so many to work on, and while while one of them is in the gestation period, then the other ones we have to keep you know feeding, you know if if you know what I mean. So, so that's it. I hope that's been helpful. I really just wanted to give you like a 
uh, like a in the moment view of this. You know, in, in a year from now, we'll see how uh, Korean Heroes is doing as well as some of the other ones. But uh, we're starting to see some pickup on, on all of our apps all across the board. So, so that's it for this week. I'll talk to you next week. Goodbye. Hey, I hope you liked that video. Now, if you did like it, I'd really appreciate it if you click on the like button down below. And if you want to know more about app development, uh, app marketing, all that kind of stuff, now we, sh we share everything we learn here. So I make this video once a week, uh, every Friday, or at least I try to get it done every Friday. Sometimes it might slip into Saturday. But we put these out once a week. So if you want to see more of them, click on the subscribe button, and then that way you won't miss anything. Uh, and if you want to find out, you know, follow us up more on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, you can always follow, uh, join us on Snapchat. Uh, we put out stories to our, we put out snaps to our story, like, you know, several a day. So we kind of go through, you know, how things are working in the app market, things on a day-to-day -day basis, like in 10-second chunks. And, and Snapchat's kind of my way of trying to be young and trendy and all that kind of stuff, you know. So, uh, and, and finally, oh, if you could leave a comment, that would be awesome. So, and I know you don't want to leave a comment. I never leave comments because I, you know, who wants to leave comments, right? But I'll make it easy for you. All you have to do is, if you like the video, uh, put gnarly because it's an 80s term and, you know, I'm a child of the 80s, what can I say? Uh, if you didn't like it, put bogus. Uh, and if you didn't think anything of it, just put eh, right? And finally, now, if you, uh, if you go onto the App Store, either Google Play or iTunes, uh, look up one of uh, the Overpass apps and, and download it and leave a review. That would also be something that would be, be really, really helpful because that, you know, it keeps things churning the same way you want to happen for, for your app. So, so that's it. I'll talk to you next week.